gas is there, just right there. They've got a real big problem with the sun in their eyes. They come into this glass corner, this right hand, which is so vitally important. Everybody right up on the curb there. Dorsey Schrader waggled the tail of his car as he came off there. So the tyres starting to give up on these cars now as we come on to lap 39. Just starting out on the 40th lap. Tommy Kendall up with Dorsey Schrader. Can he get by him? Ooh. Well, I mean, uh, Boris said, Boris said, it's not going to be easy to get by, I'll tell you that. Up the hill to the S as they come. Schrader, your leader, set is second. Kendall is third. Three Fords. One, two, and three here. And uh, track where Ford is the official vehicle. So the Ford folks on hand have to be pleased at this. But Schrader holds the advantage. They're sharp at fourth spot. We lost Jamie Gallus and Paul Genelosi a few moments ago to that crash. Sharp, apparently, with not enough to get up and challenge the top. No, Scott Sharp sliding back away from those three leading Fords. And he can't be biding his time now because we're about to come up to lap 40 at 42 so he, if he's going to make a move boy he should have made it right at the drop of that green flag obviously these three Fords have got what it takes to win at this uh, racetrack this afternoon and of course that's going to skew the championship for the manufacturers because going into today's race they were all even on 78 points each so Ford are going to assume the lead of the manufacturers championship with just three laces left after them. two to go this time by coming up to the main straightaway there's your second place driver Sandu who took the lead for a while midway through the race with a very strong move in the inner loop but Schrader able to get by him now drag him on the main straight about 10 laps ago so Schrader your leader in the 12 said second in the 14 Kendall third in the 11th car the second and third place cars out of the Rouse shops but everyone chasing Dorsey Schrader including Scott Sharp who's back and forth the front three cars seem to be incredibly evenly matched don't they I mean I don't see much sliding around Boris said they're sliding a bit comes through there crabbing a little bit so he's putting some heat into his rear tires Tommy Kendall sitting back thinking yep yeah, you go ahead Boris you do that and I'll just uh, whistle by here with about one lap to go up to the loop Tommy Kendall makes a little bit of ground Dorsey Schrader now starting to slide around at this point really if the tires go off uh, tough luck because uh, they're going to be awfully hard to be passed Scott Sharp again seems to be just not quite able to match the pace of the three leading forwards Sharp the co-champion of the Indy Racing League's first season looking ahead to next week which starts the second IRL year in New Hampshire International when he drives a great chase point once again good battle for fifth here Ryan Sebo and the Rainex car the car of Greg Pickett battling for fifth picking a guy we usually see several times in the course of the afternoon this is our first look at the number six automobile the Rainex Chevrolet but a good outing for both Simo and Pickett as they get the white flag. One to go for the leaders. Here's Boris said down into turn one, taking a look inside last time around here at Watkins Glen this afternoon. Greg Pickett, incidentally, in his 138th start of Trans Am competition, 15 wins and 69 top five positions. So he needs to get around Simo if he wants to maintain or make that 70 top fives. White flag waving as the rest of the field comes by. Schrader still your leader. Simo back in fifth spot. Said is second. Third spot belongs to Kendall right now. Percy Schrader's crew looking on from pit road. Watching there's Dan Binks who masterminds the Tommy Kendall operation along with the car of Boris Said who's in second spot right now. Through the carousel one final time. Short straight away to come to turns 8, 9, and 10 here at Watkins Glen. Well, Boris said, obviously, no team orders here to let uh, Tommy Kendall through to get those vital points, so Dorsey Schrader will extend his points lead. Kendall makes one last look inside on Boris said, but he doesn't have enough lap car coming up. Dorsey Schrader stretches the lead, and Dorsey will come to the strike. Dorsey Schrader, the winner today of the Serengeti Eyewear Trans Am. Tommy and Kendall. Tommy Kendall. Kendall made a move on... Boris said to take second spot as they came to the strike.